Oh, poop. Crossy Posse Packer Nation. Welcome to another episode of Packcast, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. Still. 100k Grassi. And today we're going to be talking about Kamal Martin undergoing surgery and is going to miss a significant amount of time and what that means for the Green Bay Packers and their linebacker core. Before we get to that, I want to do a big shout and thank you to some brand new patrons and YouTube members. First on the Patreon side of things, we have Kayla Prawl. Thank you very much. We have Ethan Carter, we have Lisa, and we have Sportsball101. A big shout out and thank you for the support. And a big shout out to some new YouTube members. We got Packers fan for life. Yes, Craig Nixon. We got Jerry Rodriguez, James Exum, and finally Thomas Weaver. A big shout out and thank you to you all. So, yes, it was reported today that Kamal Martin underwent surgery on his left knee for a torn meniscus yesterday and is going to be out for at least six weeks. Now, besides this being an ultra bummer because someone got hurt, it's a bigger bummer because Kamal Martin has been making some waves in camp. There were talks about him potentially being the starter right across from Christian Kirksey, and I was like, oh, boy, because coming out of his tape when we talked about this when he got drafted— You know, with Kamal Martin, he wasn't an east to west guy. And he wasn't like a, you know, really fluid dynamic. He was just, hey, I'm going to run north and south and I am going to hit you really hard and hopefully you fumble the football. And listen, we could always use a thumper in the middle of the field. Literally anybody to stop the run, please. This is a cry for help. And so the fact that he was getting all of this praise and now it's unfortunately come to a halt temporarily. Now, one of the pieces of good news, though, is that Kamal Martin had a season-ending injury last year on his right knee, and this is not the same knee. This is his left knee. So it's good news because it's not the same knee, and it's even now. Is that a good thing? Optimism is hard. Now, considering he is going to be out for at least six weeks, he could be on that IR designated to return list. He could be one of those candidates, so we'll see, in which they stash him over there, and they'll bring him back, and they'll have to let somebody go midseason. Now, what does this mean for the Packers linebackers core? Well, here's what it doesn't mean. No, we're not bringing back Clay Matthews and putting him on the inside. No, it's not happening. I love Clay Matthews, but it's not happening. So stop asking. What this means is that, oh boy, Christian Kirksey really better uh, better work out or we're going to have some problems. But I will say that this puts a ton of pressure, but also gives an amazing opportunity to a guy that I have been behind since we drafted him in the third round of 2018, and that is Oren Burks. Oren Burks has been dealing with injuries for his entire NFL career, and hopefully now this will be his chance to shine. Now, I will say he has been injured for a good amount of camp. He actually just returned to practice today, so hopefully that is a good sign. Other guys that we can rely on is former sixth rounder Ty Summers, who showed some flashes last year. I'm assuming he's going to get more playing time. You have Raven Green, who could step up into the linebacker role, and you also have undrafted free agent Chris Barnes. Now, you also have guys like Curtis Bolton, who hasn't played because he's on the P. UP list. Basically, what we're talking about is, yeah, we're, uh, we're we're playing with a light load right now, and it's very, very fragile, and we're like one injury away from just not having inside linebackers. But then again, you might not be able to tell after last year's performance. So I'm really, really pulling for Oren Burks to make a huge jump and finally show him the reason why the Packers drafted him in the third. And and hopefully, you know, this is a, a silver lining. And then hopefully Kamal Martin's able to come back in the middle of the season fresh and prepared. Now, could the Packers potentially sign somebody inside linebacker? Sure, they could. I don't think they will. I think they're going to continue to roll with what they got. And, uh... And we're going to see what happens. But cuts are coming in a few days, so we will get that official 53-man roster uh, quite soon. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Do you think that they should go after another inside linebacker? Do you feel confident with Oren Burks? Let me know. You can always find me at TomGrossyComedy.com or at TomGrossyComedy on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrossyComedy. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Tom Grossy. And as always, go back, go. Back.